Stay tuned to the five o'clock hour. But right now, I want to introduce a brand to you that you may not yet be familiar with. They're newer to us here at QVC. The brand is called White Toque. And I want to introduce you to Chef Jean-Jacques Bernat, who has been a chef for over 40 years. My dear, bonjour. Bonjour, Sharon. Comment ça va? It's so very nice to have you, you with too. us because I'm a huge fan of the macarons that you've brought us in the past. We had the larger size quiches that we've brought in the past. Exactly. But you wanted to bring a delicious appetizer to us by way of quiche, but not to make it very heavy with a crust, but to wrap it in the most delicate filo dough. Exactly, with very, very delicate filo dough. We have a different flavor. You see here, we have a mushroom. And you know what, this is what I want you to do. We're, instead of showing you here, because you are getting a total of 48 pieces, I want you to take a look inside as we run through the flavors, so that way you can get an idea of what's happening, because you get all of the flavors we're talking about, all six. So what's our first one? This is the mushroom and the pepper. Okay. And also we have here, we have the four cheese. The four cheese is uh, Parmesan, Swiss, cheddar, and um, mozzarella. Oh, beautiful. Then our third flavor. Broccoli and cheddar. Okay. He's here. Gorgeous. Very you good. can see the little bits of the broccoli yes. florets in there. And then there's three more flavors that you're getting. Those first three were for the vegetable mini quiches. Now we're going to talk about the Mediterranean mini quiches. What are the three flavors we're getting here? Here we have artichoke and sun-dried tomato. Mm -hmm. The next one is a pepper, olives, and feta. So that's the classic Mediterranean. The classic. And then what's the last one? And the spinach and cheese. I just have to say, first of all, this is delightful to me because I think, find that one of the hardest things to do around the holiday season is to get appetizers out and get appetizers out that everybody likes. And there's such a huge variety here. I'm very, very pleased with what I'm seeing. So I'm gonna start with, you know what? I actually wanna start with this one right here, which is the broccoli, the broccoli and cheese. Yes. Broccoli and cheese and cheddar like cheese. Look at that. This Look at that on the inside. This is this is like a, a one or a two biter. Look at the layers of the filo dough that you're getting on the outside, which is spectacular. All right, it's I'm very light filo bite. dough. It's one bite. Mm. And First of all, the filo dough is such a perfect combination to go along with this because all those little layers are so delicate and flaky and crisp, and then you get the richness of the egg and the filling and the, on the inside. Yeah, and the cheddar and the hens mm. and the filo dough, yes. Yeah, because very... these truly are quiches, so they are egg-based, correct? Egg-based, yes, mm -hmm. correct, it's egg-based. Mm -hmm. All right, now which one is this one? This one is the four cheese. The four cheese, what were the my four, four cheeses cheese again? Mozzarella, mm -hmm. Swiss cheese, Parmesan, oh. and cheddar. So? So, you know, for such a tiny bite, that one has a really beautiful flavor. It's, a, it's big and it's right. very satisfying. Awesome. And then what's this one again? This one is mushroom and uh, red pepper. Look at this. I want you to take a look at this right here. Look at the colors that you're getting in here. You don't actually really have to guess what's inside each of these. You can see the ingredients in every single one. And might I ask you, do we have to uh, bake all of them up at the same time, or can we pull out what we would like? You pull up whatever you, whatever you want, and you put 12 minutes at 350 degrees. You take from the freezer, you open the box, and you put mm. right away to the oven for 12 to 50 minutes, 100 and 350 degrees. That mushroom and four cheese, or oh, pardon me, I should say the mushroom and pepper, sorry, is exquisite because I immediately tasted the red peppers that have such a sweetness to them and the meatiness of the mushrooms. But I'm very intrigued by this one, this artichoke and sun-dried tomato, because the color is so deep. The color is so deep because we have the sun-dried tomatoes and the artichoke mm -hmm. is a melt together. Look at, this, look at this color. This is a quiche. Usually quiche is a golden yellow color, but look at the richness that the tomatoes impart to this particular recipe. Isn't that gorgeous? That's beautiful. Okay, going in for the bite on this one. A lot of flavors to talk about here. Mm. It's good. You like it? It's creamy. It's actually creamy on the inside. It's, it's very creamy. And look, look at the layers. I don't know if you can see this. It might be very difficult to see. When I took the bite, the layers of the phyllo dough that you have here, look at this. They're so delicate, they're so crisp, and they don't get soggy on the bottom. Sometimes I find that traditional quiche crusts can get very wet or damp on the bottom, and this keeps things light and crisp. It's very, yes, it's very, and it's not too, 
you know, to mm -hmm. overcook. It's fantastic. It's a beautiful cook. How do we cook these again? So we, we can 12, do these in the toaster oven or the regular oven? Uh, the regular oven, mm -hmm. conventional oven, 12 okay. to 15 minutes at 350 degrees. 12 to 15 minutes. If you're used to doing other types of appetizers, like perhaps pigs in a blanket or something else, they take longer. Sometimes they can take close to a half an hour to get through all of the dough. This is that light, delicate pastry. So this bakes up very, very quickly from frozen, right? From frozen, yes. Okay. And it's made here in America. Love that. So this one is... is the pepper, okay. olive, and feta cheese. Black olive, pepper, and feta cheese. Mm. Look at that. It's very... That one is a little Beautiful. bit more delicate. You get the Mediterranean flavors, but they are, aren't overwhelming. The feta cheese is not too strong, but it adds a nice creaminess to this. And we still have one more flavor to talk about, and I do want to mention to you, you can get this either now or the week of December 11th. So I know December 11th is very popular. If you want December 11th, there's just a few hundred remaining there. And of course, you can get it immediately. And I would also suggest it doesn't necessarily need to be an appetizer. I would love to bake a few of these up and make them a meal for my family because these are fun to eat. You can have for the for the brand for the holiday. You can mm -hmm. have with friend. This is uh, spinach and cheese. Mm. They look beautiful on the plate. They eat beautifully. They actually eat very cleanly for an appetizer. You can just take a little bite and it doesn't fall apart in your hand. This is in 57246, an excellent way to have appetizers for the holiday season. Chef Jean-Jacques, so nice to see you. Mm -hmm. See you soon mm -hmm. and happy holiday and joyeux Noël Thank you. Joyeux Noël you. to you as well. You. you know what? We are really taking a trip around the world in this show because we've talked about